Hi all, this is our second video in Redux series. In our previous session, we have understood what is Redux. Now in this series, we are going to see what are the topics we are going to learn in this series. Once we have clear understanding on the topics which we are going to learn, then it will be easy to follow this series. We have already seen what is Redux and also we have seen why we use Redux in React. So this will be the table of content. First we are going to understand React Redux. In our previous session we have understood only about Redux. Now we will see about React Redux. It is nothing but it is just a package. Using this package we are using Redux inside the React. Then next we are going to see about Redux architecture. Then we will learn core concepts. What are the main concepts present in Redux? And using that we can build our entire application. Then we will see some principles inside this Redux. Then okay, what concepts I have mentioned here. Here we have action. We are going to see about that. We have reducer and we have store. These are the three most important concepts in Redux that we are going to see one by one. Then we will learn about the states. After that we are going to see how to install React. If you have already installed React then it is well and good. If you have not I will be showing you how to install React. Then we are going to install Redux. We will see how to install this Redux inside the React. Then we are going to learn about folder structure because in Redux we have actions, we have reducers, we have stored and for each of this we will be creating separate folder structure. Each person will be following different folder structure but I will be using which I feel comfortable. According to you whichever you want you can choose that folder structure. Then we will learn how to use multiple reducers. Now this all you will not understand but these are the concepts we are going to learn in this Redux. Then we will see after creating this multiple reducers how to combine those reducers in our Redux. Then we will learn about middleware. We will learn about selectors. Once everything is done we are going to make one complete project in Redux. These are the concepts we are going to learn in this series. Before moving to React Redux, before understanding how to use Redux in React, first let's use Redux normal inside JS file that is JavaScript file. Once we get all these concepts, once we get all these actions, all these reducers, stores and everything, then finally we are going to start with Redux inside React. Okay, these are the contents we are going to learn in this series.